And today I'm gonna show you guys what I'm packing for Mexico. I love Mexico. It's like one of my favorite places to go on vacation. I've been to Playa del Carmen twice, which is Cancun without the the craziness. And this time I'm going to Tulum. I've also been to Tulum, but I've never actually stayed in Tulum. So if you are looking to plan an amazing vacation, make sure you check out my how to plan an amazing vacation post below. I will link it. Um, you can find amazing flights, like boutique hotels that are super Instagram worthy that you will love. But let's get to it. I am kind of departing from my normal vacay wear. Um, I always plan my looks in advance because hello, like vacation, amazing pictures, you want to look good, you're paying all this money, like why not? But this time I'm doing something a little different, less color more neutrals, more blacks, more whites, more creams. Um, yeah, it's a little bit of a departure, but I think it's going to work out nice. Like I can almost already envision what my pictures will look like in my mind. So without further ado, a lot of these things are also posted in the video I, the video haul that I just did, my try on haul. So if you haven't checked that out, uh, I'll link it and below and also at the end of this video. So let's start with accessories because I think that's how I'm going to incorporate more color into like all of these like monochromatic looks. Uh, first up we have these earrings from Katerina Macriani. You've probably seen them before. I wear them all the time. They're super, super cute. I love them. They're just so fun and, fest and festive and like red is a good color, especially if you're like wearing a lot of neutrals. Um, these are kind of on the pricey side, but Mango makes an excellent dupe that comes in, I think turquoise, white, uh, and purple and pink. So I will link these below as well as the dupes. And next up is my favorite pair of brass earrings from Annie Costello Brown who makes just really intricate and beautiful jewelry. You've probably seen these earrings. They were everywhere like last year and the year before. And when I tried them on in the store like I just couldn't leave. They were definitely an investment piece but these are some earrings that I will have like forever. Perfect for vacation. And last but not least for earrings, I have another spectacular tassel pair from the Salt Empire. I've done a lot of work with them over the past like year and a half. They make just such incredible intricate jewelry. Like look at that. Oh, it's so good. I love them. Can you imagine me like on the beach in my swimsuit with my hat just like with these earrings like in Mexico? You can, can't you? And you will get to see it because I'm actually going to vlog my entire trip. So stay tuned for that. So yes, I'm so type A. I've even like planned everything down to like what bangles I'm taking. I mean, it just takes the guesswork out of packing. So this new bangle, I love this bangle. You actually are supposed to wear it further up like this. But I got it, it's a uh, Colt Gaia, and I got it at the Shop Bop sale, <clears throat> like uh, I think it was last week. If you're not subscribed to my newsletter, like you need to subscribe because how else will you know when the sales are coming? I'm the sale queen, I got this on sale, and it's amazing. It's gonna look so good in my photos. And this bracelet is an oldie but a goodie. I'm still on the transparent trend. I actually got this, uh, 
years ago from and other stories they make amazing accessories but how cool is this to tie in with the transparent trend that's so hot right now plus they'll both just like blend in with everything i'm wearing throw them both So last but not least for accessories, I have three pair of sunglasses that I'm going to take. You've probably seen all three. I have these white super slims from ASOS. This will go really good with like my black and white looks. And then I have two pair of the half sunglasses that are so hot right now. I'll be sure to link all of these glasses for you guys. These are like the tortoise shell ones. Hi. And then another white pair. I probably don't need two white pairs, but I mean, you gotta have a little variety. Everyone really loves these too. I wore these recently in a blog post and in my spring lookbook video. If you haven't checked that out, go ahead and scroll through my vids. It's up. Check it out. So that's it for my accessories. Like that's literally probably all I'm taking as far as the accessories are concerned, not including my bags, which I'll get to now. So if you've been following me long enough, you've seen this bag so many times, it's like ridiculous. It is a vintage bag that I got at Hamlet's Vintage here in the West Village in New York City. So the chances of you finding this exact bag is probably slim to none, but I will post a few that are similar. I love the neutral color. I love that pattern. How good is it? And then that it's also fitting in with my theme of like neutrals, blacks, and whites. It's a really good vacation tote, and it's actually pretty large inside. Crap, what was that? And of course, I'm taking this transparent bag from Mango. I mean, it's just a good beach bag. Like, you know, I put my book in there, I put my sunglasses in there, some fruit, maybe a mango or a coconut, and then, like, I'm on the beach with my bag, and I'm taking copious amounts of Instagram photos for you guys. And last but not least for the bags, I actually just bought this bag and I don't know if I need it, but I really wanted it. <laughs> like, I have it covered up with this scarf that I got from Mango. But how good is this pattern? It's so big and it's so cool. It's very spacious on the inside. And I just like it. I just, I needed a good, huge black leather bag. So. This works and it was pretty affordable from uh, Anthropology. So I'll link that and this amazing scarf from Mango that I'll probably do something with while I'm in Mexico. So that's it for my bags. Let's get into my footwear. Um, definitely taking my fave all-time mules from Tibby. Tibby makes such amazing footwear. Like, Tibby, I need you guys to actually remake these so I can buy another pair. And also, so many people are demanding that you guys remake these. Like, why do shoe companies only make shoes for one season? It's not enough. We need more. Anywho, won't these go so good with like everything I'm gonna wear? They're neutral, they're a nice block heel, so I'll be able to walk in them. Can't wait. And you've already seen these. They are my Who Wet Wear um, Times Target Clear Transparent Sandals. I love these. Like, they're gonna go with everything. They're neutral. They're super comfortable. They're under, I think, 30 bucks. So yeah, definitely taking these to Mexico. So in addition to those, I will take some flats, um, probably another pair of sandals, but nothing spectacular. All right, so now we will get into the swimwear, some of which you've already seen in my try-on haul video from uh, 
from like last week. This white number is from ASOS. It is super cute. It looks amazing on. Like I just fit my arms right through this and it's like an off the shoulder look. Super fitted, great coverage. If you wanna see it on me, uh, check out my try on haul video. Well, someone's out here riding their motorcycle today. Anywho, keeping with the black and white theme. Oh, okay. I live in New York City, kids. It's always this loud. Okay, so keeping with the black and white theme, I went ahead and bought this really cool black and white uh, two-piece set that I also got from ASOS. This is the top. And this is the bottom. How cute is it? It's so cute and it's like perfect with my theme. So I had to have it. And it's super affordable too. It looks great on. I will probably also take three other bathing suits, but you've seen those. So I'm gonna move on to clothing. The first up is this cute little bralette top that I got from Zara. It's pretty old, but they have some similar ones. And I also found some similar ones online. So I'll make sure to link those for you. This is just so great. It's like a perfect little top. You throw it on, you throw on a skirt or a pair of like shorts or jeans and just go. Everybody needs a good bralette top in a neutral color. I recently got this black kind of like it's not linen I think it's a cotton top from Uniqlo they had such a good sale and I hope you guys caught that sale that I showed you on my insta stories where I got like an amazing pair of jeans for like 20 bucks I got a dress I got uh, so many tons of shirts and skirts for like 100 bucks I think I got like eight items but this was one of the items that I got and it's nice, it's breezy. Yes, it's black, but I plan on like tying it in a little bow and it'll work well with just about everything I wear while I'm in Mexico. So if you're looking for really good basics, like basic tops, button up tops, as well as like crew neck tops and shirts, check out Uniqlo. They are always having amazing sales. This is my fave white linen shirt from H&M. They actually still have this shirt. I got this maybe last year, but it's so good. That they keep on making it and selling it. So, perfect top for Mexico. Easy, breezy, light. And I love to actually tie it in a bow as well. You'll see lots of this top when I do my What I Wore in Mexico lookbook. This is a cool little like fishnet top from um, Eileen Fisher. I've had this for so long, like maybe like three or four years. It's just a great little beach top that you can throw over your uh, bathing suit and go. I will make sure to link a few that are similar to this below, but how good is that? And it's such a good neutral color. And last but not least for the tops is this cool little off the shoulder scoop wire under the boob top that I got from this little store. I think it's called Mystique, Mystique Boutique here in uh, New York City in Soho. But I've actually found this top at a lot of different places online, so I will link it for you guys. The cool part is that the sleeves are split that it's really off the shoulder, it's really tight and cute, and then I just love those little scoops under the boobs. Just gives it a little extra panache. All right, I'm gonna need to take a break. <laughs> I've been talking for so long. Okay guys, so now I'm going to get into the dresses and the skirts, which is like the fun stuff. First up is this like neutral, and black striped dress that I got from Zara. I love like the asymmetrical top. You can't see it that well, but the bottom is also cut on a bias. It looks really good on. I mean, it is baggy, but I plan on wearing it with uh, this transparent belt with like 
a tortoise, a tortoise shell uh, buckle that I got from Tibby. Um, it actually hasn't come yet or else it would have been in this video, but you will see it soon. This is just a good little throw on dress, less than 40 bucks. This is one of my favorite all time skirts from Tamara Mellon. She makes the best skirts with like fringe detailing. Like look at this see-through detail. How good is that? I love this skirt and it looks so amazing on. So yeah, she's coming with me to Mexico. Probably pair it with that white linen top and just tie it. And the best vacation dress of all time. I took it to Morocco. I wore it in white and in yellow. It's from Free People. And it's so good. It's like literally the best vacation dress ever. Probably why it keeps selling out. Um, I tried to actually buy it in like a burnt red color and they sent me brown. Like I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. But anywho, I have to take it back. But one day I will own this in white and yellow and in the like burnt red. Perfect vacay linen dress, looks so good on. So keeping with the theme of black and white, this is a really cool like black and white stripe tie at the waist um, skirt from Tibby. Even though it's a skirt, it can actually be worn as a dress as well, depending on how tight you tie this little bow. I just like it. I think it's a great neutral and it works well with my theme. Tibby just makes such amazing clothes. This uh, jumpsuit that I have on is also from Tibby. The shoes from Tibby, I just, Tibby, they make really great clothes for just like the modern chic women. I mean, can they please just roll off? <laughs> I mean, I guess it's keeping with the theme. I don't know if you guys can hear that music. It's pretty loud. Okay. Now, every trip I go on, I try to take a silk or a satin dress. And this is a very cool satin dress that I got from Grana. It's a silk company based in Asia. It has side slits. It's just a really good throw on, kind of like wear around the condo or throw on over my bathing suit uh, dress. Super lightweight, super luxe fabric. Make sure to check Rana out. They have amazing silk shirts, skirts, and dresses. This is another find from Zara who is like killing the entire game right now. This does not look like much on the hanger, but it looks so good on. Oh my God. So it kind of cinches at the waist, kind of a balloon at the top. You kind of tie it and it just fits all the right places. It looks so good on. Also, less than 30 bucks. If you're looking for like a quick dress for every day or even for an occasion, you can dress this up with like a pair of uh, pumps or sandals. Check this dress out. I will make sure to link it. I'm actually going to Mexico partly for a wedding. My really good friend is getting married and I plan on wearing this dress with like maybe those tibby heels and a nice little bag and calling it a day. Another like last minute purchase that I got from um, Zara is this see-through I don't know if you guys can see it very well. Yeah, you can. It's this see-through little like dress or throw over. Um, perfect for the beach. You can wear it over your bathing suit or you can be very risque and wear nothing underneath, which is probably what I'm gonna end up doing. This will probably end up being my house dress. Well, okay. Excuse me. So yeah, this will probably end up being like my little house dress and I'll probably just wear it naked. You won't see pictures of that. But how good is it? It's so cute. It has these little like cinch parts that make it look really cool on. And the sleeves are nice too. Zara, killing the game. 
you may have already seen this skirt. It's also from Zara. It's like um, a knitted neutral pencil skirt. I wore it in my try on haul. Just a really nice fabric, easy breezy, throw it on. It looks really good on. Like I know it looks kind of just plain on the hanger, but it hugs all the right places. Super chic, quick, easy. Knitted skirt. And last but not least is this really cool black off the shoulder dress that ties in the back. Um, it's from, oh well, doesn't want to stay on the hanger. It's from ASOS. And I also wore this recently in my try on haul. It looks so good on. It has like a trumpet bottom, ties in the back, off the shoulder. Looks really amazing on. So if you want to see that on, as well as that Zara skirt, check out my try on haul. Oh, there's something else I wanted to show you guys. I went ahead and I invested in some really good luggage because my last trip to Morocco, if you haven't checked out those videos or those vlogs, check those out. They're in uh, the vlog section below. Um, my suitcase broke. Like, I don't know what they did to my suitcase, but as soon as I got back to New York City, the, the wheel literally fell off. Like, it just fell off my luggage. Like, how rude! Anywho, I love that suitcase. I got it at Marshalls years ago. You know, it's the big colorful one with all the colors and the giant kiss and like, I always knew that that was my luggage because like no one else had that luggage. But yeah, rest in peace luggage, rest in peace. So I had to get some new luggage and what I got was this cow pack luggage that you've seen everywhere. Oh, it's so cute. First of all, I am just like obsessed with anything marble. And this is just so chic. It has so many compartments on the inside. And I love it. It is definitely worth the investment, especially if you travel often, two to three times a year. You're gonna need something sturdy, something chic, something cool, something that holds everything. And this fits the bill. So I got this one as well as the larger one. And I plan on taking them to uh, Mexico with me. Why are you laughing? What? You taking both? Hell yeah, I'm taking both. Look, you see all these clothes? Like, Rose is looking at me like, oh, you gonna take both of those? <laughs> like, you taking the big one and the small one? And the answer is yes, okay? You see all this stuff? You think that's gonna fit in this little small thing? No. Yes. <laughs> no, it's not. I need to take options and backups, okay? Don't judge me. Anywho. So yeah, oh wait, one more thing I forgot to show you guys. It's just this plain white tee. I like how crisp is it? Look how crisp it is. It is super crisp. Look at that neckline. Ugh, this is like the perfect most white shirt ever. And it's so soft and luxurious. Unique low, unique low. Telling you, get on unique low. They're the real deal. So that is everything as far as clothing, but I also wanted to show you guys what scents I'm packing. Yes, I plan my scents. I mean, I know that might be kind of weird, but scent is really tied to your memory. So if you wear like a certain perfume while you're on a vacation and you make beautiful memories while you're on that vacation, anytime you smell that perfume, you're gonna think about it. Um, so my two go-tos for this trip will be the Santal, I mean not the Santal, the Le Labo, which has amazing fragrances. This one is the Vanille 44, which is exclusive to Paris, but you can also find it in New York City or in the US wherever they sell Le Labo during the month of September, which is Fashion Month. It's pretty costly, but once you have the bottle, um, the refills are cheaper. It smells so good. Oh, it's my favorite. Very light, very fun. It's good for day, but I wanted one that was kind of sultry and good for night. And that I got from Curie. And it's called So Care. It's very kind of like woodsy. It has amber, it has musk. It just, oh, it smells so good. Like I wish you guys could like, just smell it. Just smell it. Also, I've partnered with them, so if you want to try them out, 
use code Monroe 15 for 15% off of your purchase. They have um, plant-based body products as well as perfumes and fragrances. Um, amazing. And like, look how good the packaging is. It's just so cute. So that is what I am packing for Mexico. I can't wait to go like, it's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna vlog it for you guys. And I will make sure to do a whole lookbook showing all of these looks for you guys when I get back as well. Until then, you will have to follow me on Instagram at Monroe Steel. Um, specifically my Insta stories because I will Insta story my life away while I'm on this trip. And you will get to like see everything in real time versus waiting for the vlogs. Um, because I plan on actually vacationing while I'm on vacation. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like it, give me a thumbs up, and make sure to subscribe to stay in the know with all of my videos.